So I want to build a simple human resource department application for Transflar. So Transflar company want to maintain, okay, employee information, okay. Where in that information, what kind of info you like to keep it? Employee ID, name, designation, salary. So we want it here, okay. Allow users to add delete information of employee. Second, allow users to display that information of a particular employee. Number three, if employee doesn't exist, show appropriate message. And if it is there, then or no. So you really want to come back and write the application. And if you want to do that work, hint. So what is the hint? Use index sequential file to maintain data. That is a simple requirement we have to do it. And we have decided that we would like to use C++. So if I want to solve this problem, being as a C++ developer, I need to think about key, if this problem to be solved, what are the kind of classes I should write? If I'm going to write a class, what are going to be their data members? And if that class you're going to write, what is the behavior that class should contain? For example, uh, reading the information of that employee or displaying that information of the employee or you may be interested to get his salary or you may want to update his salary. Right. So if this problem you like to solve using object oriented programming concepts, how do you solve? So you will try to solve this problem by defining certain class. We may require certain class to be defined. So what would be the class? So I think if I want to implement this program, I should be able to write employee class. So can I just go back and write a simple class employee class employee? Right. OK, then in that employee, we have to declare private data members. And we may want to write a methods which is which are going to represent behavior of that employee class. So public private specified we will use it. Now I'm interested. I think that every employee will have some code. So can I just write INT code? First, that employee will have some name. Can I define the name of that employee with uh, 20 characters? Okay, I wanted this employee will have some kind of salary. So I'm using data dot, um, I'm using some data type float. Where I define salary. So these are the data members which will define employee as a entity. But what are the methods you like to write for that employee? So I may be interested for writing read method, display method, get employee, all that, I like that way. So can I just write that logic for those things? Yes, I could. I will always go back and write that code. So for example, I want to write a simple code uh, to read the information of an employee. So there's only method called wide read. This method will read the employee's information. Okay, I want to write display that information, wide display. I'm really interested. OK, if I provide the employee code. Or if I just say get employee code, I want to know what is the code of that employee. So can I put INT return type is gate. So it's integer get. Employee code. And whenever this function will be there, since it's just one line code, I can really return that code. No. I think this code you declared as a data member for this. So private data member can be shown by public member function. That's right. Okay, you know. For example, you like to get its salary. So what is the salary? I would like to get salary. And if I just write the code, so what is the salary? All right, return salary. Return salary. Are you getting? So this is simple logic. One line low logic I write here inside. Okay. So simplified code you can always make. I want to update his salary. So can I write here white update? salary salary and then i'll provide what is the salary to be updated s yes. and can it simple write logic how do i update salary so the private variable salary will be updated with the s value which you pass and that is a simple logic you write it here and i'm trying to write this simple employee class so where i implemented logic for update gate gate employee but actually read and display these are the two functions require more lines of code so if i really want to make my clean code strategy your code should be written in a very simple way easily understandable and easily 
extensible. So it's good that if you are having a function which takes three, four lines of code, it's always great practice to write that function separately. Correct? No? So can I really go back under this program and write a simple code? I would like to read data. So can I just ask, give me the employee's data and I will try to put that data and assign that data to that particular employee object. So I really want to write the code. So I can use now scope resolution operator. So white, white, what is that? White, employee. Employee is my class scope resolution operator. Which method you like to implement? Read. Sorry, read method. That is the method which are written here public. I would like to write simple implementation. Very good. Then you're coming back and defining a read function. You're writing the logic. See, something's wrong. Why? Because this read function, it is actually not getting properly understood. Why? What is the problem behind of this? Class started here. Have you closed the class? Yes, I did close the class, but I want to write the implementation of this class. What is saying? Scope operation must be a class or class name. So does this class name is perfect? It's a spelling mistake. Have you observed? The employee class spelling mistake was there. That's why it was giving problem. So don't think accordingly you need to write the logic for display as well. White employee colon colon display. So I wanted a particular employee's data to be displayed. So I think the display function will contain the logic to show you information. Correct, no? Perfect, right? Tomorrow it may happen that you, you really want to go back and also want to store this data into file. What is the word I use here? I am interested to write the data and store data into the file. So that means I also want to write the code. Can this particular employee object data, I would be able to Add it to the file. So can I just go back and define one more function here? Wide append to file. And maybe that function will contain the logic append. So that means I need to write again one more function. Wide employee colon colon append file. And under that append file, I should write the logic how your employee object will be stored into the file. Correct. So you are interested or if you want to search particular employee from the file. So can I just go back and write one more function? White. What is that function? I should write. So sorry. Uh, let us write search uh, for record. So your company maintains records of all employees. I want to search particular employee. So can I write simple logic? Yes, I can write here as well, but actually there is not one line code. So it's going to be lengthier. So it's going to lengthy. I think it's always good practice to write that function over here. Wide employee. What is the name we given for the function? Search for record. And there will be implementation for this search for record. So you are trying to build simple human resource department application using C++. And that can be done by using your index sequential file concept and your array concepts and your file I operation concept. I also wanted to increase the salary, particular employee salary I would like to increase. So can I write simple quote, white increase salary. And then write the logic for it, but this logic is going to be big logic. So definitely I should write that logic in a separate function in my code. So can I just go back and again add one more function, white employee colon colon. What is the function? Increase salary and then you can really ask what is the salary to be incre uh, increased? See, I'm making application. I'm building software and I'm, when I'm building software, I'm building my software in very step by step. I wanted to insert a record into the file. So append search increase might be you're interested to inserting a record into that particular existing files where the employee's information maintained. So why don't you go back and again add one more extra function? What is that? White insert record. Right. Write that logic. So I think we are only declaring those functions here, but we wanted to write the implementation. So we are using C++ scope resolution operator, which is allowing to separate your implementation from your signal. Your, oh, what is that? Definition declaration. So I'm just going back. White return type class name and what is the function insert record so i'm trying to create a simple prototype 
for my e com my uh, hrd applications that is what and then further what i want i really want to write a main function so you can really come back and uh, once this work is done you write your entry point function where you're going to really test this whole logic implementation entry point main function so int main am i right and there might be certain logic you can just put it are you getting no so if you just observe we have read the problem statement we understood the problem statement then we started thinking using object oriented way how do i solve this problem then we really decided i think there is a need to solve this problem using object oriented concept called class and then we learn can we define employee as a business entity and can that business entity will be represented by using a class and we really come across a simple syntax of writing a class which will define state of that employee by using private access specifier which are called data members right now and we will define the kind of operations you like to perform against this employee class so this employee class functions will define the behavior and that will define the state and once we define this employee class then we will try to write the logic for each and every action in more detail way as a separate function which can be represented linked by using scope resolution operator okay i haven't implemented the complete logic but i think i have created simple skeleton and if this skeleton is available i think then i'll just step forward and take one step at a time and we will try to write the logic and finally i would be able to test my logic using this main function so i may be able to write simple code c out okay welcome to transflar human resource department simple like try to make your code much more interesting return one am i right no yes no c out why it's not giving problem c out most probably i think we forgot to imp uh, import that namespace no what is the namespace remember using namespace yesterday no because with the help of std namespace i would be able to use c in c out operators to show data on a console or to receive the input from the console so that's why this namespace need to be imported within my program simple structure we have created problem statement is here so writing this particular solution is a very creative way you can apply if you do not understand the problem writing code is just copy paste but when you understand the problem you will just think about how to implement you define your strategy and then you think about you are going to use object oriented concepts or using procedural way of thinking if you want to use procedural way of thinking like only functions and subroutines and something then write this code using c define employee as a structure and write lot of functions to operate on that particular employee structure but if you have chosen object oriented programming and you like to continue writing this code using c++ i think we should use object orientation what is the abstraction get the essential characteristics of this human resource department application so why don't you identify class so we have identify class employee will be the class then identify employee class then what is class class is just a blueprint so what is going to the blueprint of the employee class so this blueprint will be represented by using member functions and member variables so the state of that employee you define according to your problem statement which is defined here like this oh they that will represent the state which will define by using data members and what are the operations you like to carry so those operations will be work on that particular entity so i think this are going to be the operations it will be treated as a behavior of that class and that behavior you identify as a reusable function such reusable functions you make them as member functions and then once this structure is perfectly ready then start writing the implementation for each and every function that is what we call object oriented way of solving the problem statement syntax for java would be slightly different but the concept will remain same 
syntax of implementing this code in a Python it will be slightly different, but the approach will be remaining same. Or you may use C sharp language. Or you may use TypeScript language. Or you may use another language. And if these languages are object oriented languages, I think your map for solving that particular problem remains same. It doesn't matter which vehicle you use. The most thing, whatever matters, it is nothing but the map you have chosen. And the map we have chosen for this journey, it is nothing but object orientation. That is what we call object oriented programming. Okay, so I have just created skeleton. Further, we will go back and implement all those stuff. I hope Sanika, Namrata, you understood how problem can be solved in a object oriented way. We may not have solved complete problem, but at least we have created the skeleton. For what? For HRD solution. Understood? Yes, sir. Wait. 